So at the risk of um, murdering Jim, um, I will now read you some other poetry by a, a young author known as Jim 81 Jim. And maybe we can pull out yo dick and Ralph can pull out he is dick and you can put them dicks together to see which is bigger. <laughs> Poem number one, first of many, from Jim 81 Jim. He says, please have fun with this. The first of many writings to be included here. Revise, re rewrite, edit, make it your own. Make it beautiful, make it real. Shows the nature of revisionist poetry right here. Unspoken, so I'm already breaking the rule by reading this aloud. So don't let this be representative. Uh, he writes, we make an arch with our hands, this union of one and one, through five to five, the awkward mathematics of love. In the field below the numbers, we sing music without words, which sounds so much like forgiveness for something we haven't yet done. But it is what we will do, no matter intentions. Imagine the flake snow touching the gilded tips of wheat. Beautiful in the cool sun, and oh, so deadly. And then also, poem number five from the Minnesota Writers Group. Uh, the author advises that he's changing it up, y'all. Not all poetry is nice and gentle and easy on the eyes and ears. Uh, this is called Curse. Um, she, call, she called it the F word right before she said fuck as if to soften the blow, to bury the curse before it settled on my brow and curled my tongue into a reactive snarl. Mother, I said, did you forget your medication today? I like that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now that we know who's, whose dicks is bigger is press one. If you think that Ethan Ralph's love poem captures the essence of uh, forgiveness and tribulation in the marriage press two. If either of Jim 81's Jim's poems uh, are imaginative and creative expressions of, of thoughts and feelings that surpass the love of Ethan Ralph. Um, I'm seeing, I am some, to be fair, I'm seeing some ones, but it, it appears that the sweaty squad is, is here in force. I mean, I like, the, I like, to be fair, I like the curse one because I like the, the joke at the end. But, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it for Jim 81 Jim. I think that he's, the, <laughs> I think he's the better poet. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully these, these being pulled up conjured from the either do not, uh, give a, our poor boy, a heart attack and kill him. I'd feel guilty. I would legit feel guilty. Not even numerals. That's right. At least you didn't do a game rhyming scheme. Gen one. I, 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 I'm partial to poems that rhyme. It feels like it should rhyme. If, uh, like, what's the point if it's not rhyming? These should go on his tombstone. <laughs> but maybe he'll write a, a new poem for the tombstone. Imagine knowing these exist. I don't have to imagine. I do, motherfucker. And now you do too. Oh, imagine being you. Imagine you being you and knowing these exist. Oh, oh, shit.